everybody, this is Brian back with Inspiring How You See That. We're the channel that talks about all different kinds of music and entertainment, and we interview some of your favorite artists. So if that sounds good, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll keep up with everything that Kevin and I are putting out there. And you guys may have known that, that we've done a few videos where we talk about cities where we live or cities where we've been, and, and we try to highlight what's great about those. So, you know, we've done Erie, which is our both Kevin and my hometown, Columbus, where Kevin lives, and today we're going to talk about Cleveland, Ohio. Now, Cleveland's about 100 miles from me, um, so it's, and, and, well, a couple hours from Kevin in Columbus, so it's kind of right smack in the middle there, and it's it's right on Lake Erie, just like Erie, and I love going to Cleveland. I, I think Cleveland is one of my favorite areas to go to. I mean, just like Erie in the wintertime, it, it can get pretty bad with snow, but, you know, we're, we're used to it. We're hardy here in, you know, northwestern PA and northeastern Ohio, we're kind of used to that. Uh, but so, because it's an area that we both like to go to, we've gone for a number of shows and other things, uh, we kind of wanted to shine the spotlight and tell you guys what is awesome about Cleveland. So, uh, starting out with, you know, some of the sports teams there, obviously, so you've got the Cleveland Browns in the NFL, the Cleveland Guardians, who used to be known as the Indians in baseball, uh, the Cavaliers in, in the NBA, and the Cleveland Monsters, which is like the, the AHL uh, for hockey. So it's kind of like the Erie Otters we talked about in the OHL before. But interestingly enough, Cleveland actually did have an NHL team for a couple years, back in the late 70s, and they were the Cleveland Barons. I believe they were only they only played for about two or three years, and, and then they relocated. Um, it would be kind of cool to see a team come back, although it's because there's one in Columbus, I, I don't imagine that they're... I, I don't foresee there being a, a Cleveland team, but would be kind of cool if that ever happened. Uh, some of the locations in Cleveland that are that are well-renowned, of course, obviously, it's the home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. One of the coolest places I've been to. I've been there a few times. Absolutely love going there. I mean, you know, with our love of music, of course, you have to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So, for, if for nothing else, if you ever want to make a trip to Cleveland, go to see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's also well-known for being the home of, obviously, the Cleveland Clinic. Uh, the Cleveland Clinic is world-renowned as one of the top medical locations. You know, hospitals and where they have you know, life-saving surgeries and... Uh, some of the, the greatest doctors and, and medical providers in the world are concentrated at the Cleveland Clinic. Some other businesses that you know, have their, their headquarters in Cleveland, Sherwin-Williams, uh, the paint company, um, American Greetings, Key Bank, and Stauffer's, the food company. So it's kind of cool to see a, a lot of corporate entities you know, have made their home in Cleveland. There's a number of college campuses there. So you, you've got Cleveland State, you've got Case Western Reserve, and John Carroll, among other schools. There's been a number of famous people that grew up in Cleveland. Actually, while going through this, I was kind of amazed how many comedians are from the Cleveland area. So, just starting with those, I mean, you've got Steve Harvey. Uh, Bob Hope grew up in Cleveland. You know, he relocated there when, when he was a little kid. Arsenio Hall, Drew Carey. All these big-name comedians, it, it's kind of cool to see them come from the Cleveland area because Cleveland's not one of the biggest cities in the world. And so... You know, it's a big city in Ohio, but it, it's not, you know, like New York City or L.A. So to see that much talent come to, from there is pretty cool. Uh, in addition to you know, those comedians, you've got actors like, you know, Paul Newman is from there, Halle Berry, uh, Terrence Howard. They're all from the Cleveland area. Wes Craven, of course, the director of, of a number of films, including the Nightmare on Elm Street series. He's from the Cleveland area. You've got athletes that have come from there, like Mike Golick of ESPN. He played in the NFL and... You know, he's been on ESPN for years. He's well known. Uh, of course, LeBron James and Steph Curry are both from the general area. And from a music standpoint, you've got a lot of talented musicians coming out of the Cleveland area. So, you know, you've got like Mushroom Head, uh, Tracy Chapman. You know, she had that, that song Fast Car. And Bone Thugs and Harmony, the uh, hip hop group that all came from the Cleveland area. So, there's a ton of talent, you know, it, all across the area there. And it, it's pretty cool, again, to. To kind of see some some patterns, like you know, like I said, all the comedians, and it's interesting to see how different areas produce different levels of talent. So we finally want to want to go to some of the venues uh, that both Kevin and I have been to to see a number of shows and concerts. So there's the House of Blues in Cleveland, there's the Odeon Theater, um, there's the Wolstein Center. That's where my dad and I went and saw Disturbed, the Agora. And the Wild Eagle Saloon, the Wild Eagle Saloon, I went there with actually my dad again. We saw IMY2. It was a really cool bar. They had a like a wall of beer where you could go and there was just taps built into the wall. And it was just a cool place. There was a small stage there. It was a very kind of an intimate setting. An awesome place to see Annalise and the guys from IMY2. 
So if you get the chance, you're, you're anywhere around northern Ohio, stop in and check out Cleveland. There's a lot there that I, I think it's kind of one of those hidden gems. And I, I think you guys will like it, particularly from a music standpoint. There's so much going on. So let us know, you know what city you live in or that you visited that you think, hey, this place is pretty cool and I want to share that joy with others. We'd love to do a video on it. Let us know what you think of this video, what you think of Cleveland, and, and leave us a comment and a thumbs up if you liked it. As always, thank you so much for spending this time with us. We love you all, God bless, and rock on.